Hello everybody and welcome back to our tutorials In previous video we did our rack and pinion and now we will assemble them and make an animation Before that we need some editing of our sketch First I'll open my sketch here Click edit sketch I need a center line I'll draw a horizontal center line anywhere doesn't matter okay and this center line I will make it tangent to my circular diameter so this will be tangent with this circle this is my circle pitch circle diameter I'll make it tangent with it finish the sketch this sketch I'll make it visible I'll create a plane a parallel to a plane through a point a parallel to this plane through this point sorry through this point so this is what I need for my assembly now I'll go to my assembly we'll create standard MM assembly and save it I'll place my pinion pinion okay this is my pinion click open right click and place grounded to origin first of course we don't need it grounded but I'll put it now in order to be made with my origins here as you can see my Z plane is with Z plane this one they are constrained already so I'll make a constraint between these two axes this is the axis that will rotate around it click OK the second thing I'll constrain this plane for my assembly with the XY plane of the pinion on the zero distance click OK now I'll take a grounded out <coughs> so I right click here and get rid of my grounded I just click here and we can see that it moves now around my Z axis everything is constrained now I'll place my pinion place uh, sorry rack rack open this is my rack here first thing I'll constrain this face with the face of the rack here at zero distance click OK the second thing that will constrain the center distance between the pitch circle of the pinion so this is my pinion I'll activate the sketch make it visible can you see the, so when they are working well they have to be like this so the center the pitch circle diameter with the pitch circle of the rack they will be matched together in order to work well so uh, that's why I did my plane so I'll constrain now constrain we know the distance this plane with the origin this plane and the distance we know that our center distance is 40 it will be 20 millimeter as we can see now we are on the same pitch circle of the pinion and the pitch plane let us say it of the rack they are constrained together I click OK now we can move 
our rack to match one of the faces okay it's now very very good a little bit here here it's fine now manually and we'll make another constraint I'll go to my constraints now motion constraint and we have here ro rotation translation I'll click my pitch circle here and the line this line here I don't think it take a line I'll click again and take red get rid of my plane on the rack here's my rack I'll take the visibility out and do it again motion tack rotation translation my pitch circle will be rotate with this line okay and now we have to put the distance distance it will calculate our pitch circle 40 multiply multiply by pi equal 125 right click copy and put it here <coughs> control V click OK nothing happened of course I'll get rid of my sketches now take the visibility out here uh, my opinion I'll take the visibility out here everything is fine I think so now let us add a constraint constraint angle constraint take this XY with XY of the pinion We'll give a zero, sorry, zero distance, click OK. So, this is our drive constraint. We made an angle constraint between the YZ of the origin of the assembly and YZ of the. I'll edit it again. So, this is what we did angle constraint. I'll write here in order to know it drive motion and hit OK let us see what's happening let us drive our constraint now right click and drive from 0 to uh, let us see 400 and you'll see what will happen let's go as we can see it works well Thing is matching and you'll see the distance how much we need okay no 400 is let us give it 450 go stop go back a little bit uh, for 70 480 it's fine now so this is our motion while driving our constraint everything is constrained now we can use our rack and pinion in our devices everything will be fine so I hope I explain everything if any questions you can put in put them down if you enjoy you can subscribe to my channel or like or dislike as you wish see you in next lessons goodbye for now